Damon over here in the front. Yeah. Uh, I know you gave him a bonus, but uh, can I get a few words on what you thought of Bo Nichols' performance in his debut, uh, only 3 and 0? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I had a lot of question, questions about him. And, and when you saw his opponent tonight, guy's huge. He's got like 21 fights, ton of experience. And I thought that, you know, listen, th th he's a human being. I don't care what level of wrestling he's good. This isn't wrestling. This is a t completely different game here. And there's adrenaline dumps. There's, you know, the, the nervous energy, all the things of performing in the first, the UFC for the first time. Man, he, he blew all that right out of the water. He, he went in there. He looked incredible. And, uh, you know, Mick came over to me after and said, you know, he wasn't even applying that choke the right way, and he still got that choke and choked him up. So, I mean, wait till that kid's been in this sport two, three years. So how do you manage going off of that? How do you manage his future going forward? Because he's clearly very talented, but his record is, what, 4-0, 5-0? It might be difficult to match make for him going forward. Yeah, well, if, if he's fighting a guy 3-0 and with 21 fights and as big as the kid that he fought tonight and strong, I mean, you see the legs on that kid? I don't know. I, 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 I think he's there. I think this guy can, could possibly go out and... I mean, when you look at the early days of the UFC, and it's hard to compare that to now, but guys like Cain Velasquez fought for a title when he was 8-0 or something like that. You know what I mean? So who knows? When you, when you have that much talent and, you know, he's only going to get better and, and every fight that he gets is, is the kind of experience that he needs.